she ate nothing for more than 13 years. Her sole nourishment was Holy Communion. She is the most scientifically documented case. A living miracle of the Eucharist. Blessed Alexandrina da Costa. The Catholic Church professes that, in the celebration of the Eucharist, bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus Christ through the power of Holy Spirit, and the instrumentality of the priest. As the Gospel of Matthew tells us, While they were eating, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and giving it to his disciples said, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed on behalf of many for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Christ is truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity, under the appearances of bread and wine, the glorified Christ who rose from the dead after dying for our sins. But recently, there has been a lack of faith, and understanding of the Eucharist. A recent Pew poll revealed, that less than one-third of U.S. Catholics believe that the bread and wine, used for communion, become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. So God has given us signs of his power in the Eucharist through great saints who have lived for long periods of time on the Eucharist alone. The most well-known, most scientifically documented and most rigorously recorded case is Blessed Alexandrina da Costa. She lived exclusively on the Eucharist, for 13 years, and was beatified by Pope John Paul II, on April 26, 2004, now himself a saint. She received no nourishment of any kind except the Holy Eucharist. This extraordinary miracle continued for 13 years and 7 months until her death. Concerning her living on the Eucharist alone, Jesus told her in an ecstasy. You will not take food again on earth. Your food will be my flesh. Your blood will be my divine blood. Your life will be my life. You receive it from me when I unite my heart to your heart. Do not fear, my daughter. To understand the incredible magnitude of this Eucharistic miracle, consider for a moment that a human can go for more than three weeks without food before the effects of starvation on the body kill a person. But since the adult body is made of 60% water, typically a person would only last three to four days without a drop of water. Please note, that blessed Alexandrina was placed in a hospital, for 40 days and under intense observation was observed to keep her Eucharistic fast, living only on the bread of life, which was her sustenance. The official report of Dr. Araujo confirmed the prodigy as scientifically inexplicable, and stated, It is absolutely certain that during 40 days of being bedridden in hospital, Alexandrina, did not eat or drink. Let's go back in time to 1904 and hear her story. Alexandrina Maria da Costa was born on the 30th of March 1904 in Belezar, Portugal. She received a solid Christian education from her mother and her sister, Dealinda, and her lively, well-mannered nature made her likable to everyone. Her unusual physical strength and stamina also enabled her to do long hours of heavy farm work in the fields, thus helping the family income. When Alexandrina was 14, something happened that left a permanent imprint on her, both physically and spiritually, it gave her a face-to-face -face look at the horror and consequences of sin. On Holy Saturday of 1918, while Alexandrina, dear Linda and a young apprentice were busily sewing, 
three men violently entered their home and attempted to sexually violate them. To preserve her purity, Alexandrina jumped from a window, falling four meters to the ground. Her injuries were many, and the doctors diagnosed her condition as irreversible, it was predicted the paralysis she suffered would only get worse. Until age 19, Alexandrina was still able to drag herself to church where, hunched over, she would remain in prayer, to the great amazement of the parishioners. With her paralysis and pain worsening, however, she was forced to remain immobile, and from the 14th of April 1925 until her death, approximately 30 years she would remain bedridden, completely paralyzed. Alexandrina continued to ask the Blessed Mother for the grace of a miraculous healing, promising to become a missionary if she were healed. Little by little, however, God helped her to see that suffering was her vocation and that she had a special call to be the Lord's victim. The more Alexandrina understood that this was her mission, the more willingly she embraced it. She said, Our Lady has given me an even greater grace, first, abandonment, then, complete conformity to God's will, finally, the thirst for suffering. And so it was that from the 3rd of October 1938 until the 24th of March 1942, Alexandrina lived the three-hour Passion of Jesus every Friday, having received the mystical grace to live in body and soul Christ's suffering in his final hours. During these three hours, her paralysis was overcome, and she would relive the Stations of the Cross, her movements and gestures accompanied by excruciating physical and spiritual pain. She was also diabolically assaulted and tormented with temptations against the faith and with injuries inflicted on her body. On the 27th of March 1942, a new phase began for Alexandrina which would continue for 13 years and 7 months until her death. She received no nourishment of any kind except the Holy Eucharist, at one point weighing as few as 33 kilos, approximately 73 pounds. Medical doctors remained baffled by this phenomenon and began to conduct various tests on Alexandrina, acting in a very cold and hostile way towards her. This increased her suffering and humiliation, but she remembered the words that Jesus himself spoke to her one day, you will very rarely receive consolation. I want that while your heart is filled with suffering, on your lips there is a smile. As a testimony to the mission to which God had called her, Alexandrina desired the following words written on her tombstone, Sinners, if the dust of my body can be of help to save you, come close, walk over it, kick it around until it disappears. But never sin again, do not offend Jesus anymore. Sinners, how much I want to tell you. Do not risk losing Jesus for all eternity, for he is so good. Enough with sin. Love Jesus love him. Alexandrina died on the 13th of October 1955. Her last words, I am happy, because I am going to heaven.